Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails. So you want to go and pick monkey and click on call image. So here we're going to make a... Uh, I will be choosing three to four images for this thumbnail. So you're gonna put any picture that you want or you like. This is just an example of how I edit my thumbnails. So we see that the background that you can put it at any size you want, but I'm gonna put it a little bit by size so around 14, and the border you can make it the corners, you know, and you can put any color you want. So it's going to like aqua blue type of color and yeah so now we're going to click on export editor so we're going on the editor app probably. that's where we um you cannot edit the picture itself so if you need a collage you cannot do that so we're going to go on text font or font the text yeah and you're going to choose any one you want, so I'm going to choose Francis, Francis and I'm going to click edit text. So I'm just going to do our, for example, a DIY. So I'm going to make it big because remember, for your tomato, it has to be big. And you just want to make it big so it can be, text can be like, you know, easy to read. And I'm just going to put that white. And you can place it wherever you want. So I'm going to add another text and I'm going to put decker, desk decker and I'm also going to highlight it and size and also make it white and place it wherever I want. So I'm going to put it white. So now we're going on overlays and we're going on geometry and I'm just going to show you guys how you can add a cute little design you can put behind of your text to give it a nice, you know. So you're just going to go on send to back and you're going to put it wherever you, whatever color you want. So I'm just going to put it at this blue awkward type of color and I'm going to do the same for the so now I put both of them like that. We're just going to make sure that everything is straight and how we like it. So I'm just playing with it to see where it feels good and I'm just gonna make it bigger and so once that is done you're going on the basic edits and you're going to scroll down on colors. So here we're going to use saturation, brightness and so on to give our picture a pop like to make it look catchy because we want our tomato to look very spicy, have this nice highlight look, have this nice brightness on it and so on. So you're just gonna, for your picture, you don't want to make it too bright that you cannot see um, the picture properly, but just exact. Then you're just going to apply. So now, I'm just going to go on effects and scroll down until you see draw. I'm just going to use this paint and just you have to load on the hardness because it wouldn't look paint. So I'm using this because some YouTubers um this is very popular instead of using the geometry behind of the words. So this is another step that you guys can use. So this is an extra like tip you guys can use for your thumbnails. So I like this, so I'm just gonna choose this. So I deleted my job. So I'm just going to save this, and this is the end of the the design for it. And you're just going to save it to your computer. And I'm going to show you guys the finishing look of it. And this is how it looks. And yeah, so this was a very simple step. And 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to give this video a like and also to subscribe and see you guys in my next video. Bye!